How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can get Apple intelligence on your iPhone if you're like me outside the United States. As you can see, I'm currently in Brazil and I'm using full Apple intelligence. Let me show you. And I want to start off with something very, very important right in the beginning of this video. This process will actually enable Apple intelligence outside the United States anywhere in the world apart from two regions the european union and china okay even if you do everything that i'm showing in this video you won't be able to get it in those two regions but please keep in mind that in the end of this video i'm gonna tell you when apple intelligence will be available in both china and european union okay so there are actually a few things you have to keep in mind in order to enable apple intelligence on your iphone First, you need to have a compatible iPhone. As you can see, either an iPhone 15 Pro, this is a 15 Pro Max, or of course, an iPhone 16 series, any iPhone 16. Number two, you need to make sure you're running at least iOS 18.1 on your iPhone. So open up your settings, then go to general, and then about, and check if you're running at least 18.1. As you can see, I'm already on 18.2, so it works as well. If you are on 18.0.1, 18.0, or even iOS 17, for example, of course, you need to update your iPhone, so come back here, and then go ahead to software update, make sure it loads, go ahead and update to the latest version. It may be 18.1 or 18.2 or 18.3, it doesn't matter any version that you see right here from now on will be compatible with apple intelligence so just make sure to update to the latest version doesn't matter which version it is and then you will be able to use apple intelligence but of course there is the final step so let's come back here once again back here to settings and then scroll down and get to general as you can see scroll down a bit more more and get to language and region and this is the biggest reason why most people still aren't using apple intelligence and can't enable apple intelligence just because of this guys in order to use apple intelligence you need to have your iphone set to english in your region to the united states simply because at least for now apple intelligence is only compatible with american english so english United States. If you don't have it set like that, it will not work. So go ahead here and set to English. If you already have it, like both languages like me, just go ahead and set English on top. As you can see, leave it as it is and then it'll change the language. If you don't have English at all, just tap here on add language, search for it and add it. Super easy. Same thing here for your region. Go ahead here if you don't have set to United States, tap on it and then of course search for united states tap on it and then tap on change and then you see a black screen changing region and then it'll take like five seconds and there you go let's come back here back once again to our very first page of our settings scroll down tap on apple intelligence and siri and then you won't see this page just because i have already enabled but you'll see something like this you see apple intelligence and siri join the apple intelligence waitlist for this very first time you will need to actually join a waitlist but don't worry it just takes like a couple minutes so you're gonna tap on join the waitlist and then you see something like that on your settings apple intelligence joined waitlist as you can see and then all you have to do is wait as i said just a few minutes and then you'll be good to go it will be enabled and accepted and you will join apple intelligence and then you see just like my option right here apple intelligence and you will see the toggle enabled and then you're good to go guys you have the feature enabled you'll be able to use of course the brand new siri if you have an iphone 16 series you'll be able to use this amazing feature which i love called visual intelligence and of course the writing tools the cleanup feature in your photos absolutely everything will be available but of course as i mentioned apple intelligence will be available in your country in your language very very soon so if i open up safari we have here this support page from apple as you can see and if we scroll down just a little bit you'll see right here supported languages so as you can see apple intelligence is available in english us 
that's it. So only English US, as you can see. But in December, it will be available. So there will be support for English in Australia. So Canada, Ireland, as you can see, New Zealand, South Africa, and of course, even the UK. And over the course of the next year, Apple Intelligence will expand to more languages and regions like Chinese. So next year, it will be available in China in Chinese in your local language. So that's very, very cool. So in English in India, Singapore, and of course, it'll come to Europe as well. So French, German, Italian, and so then you will have in the European Union in your local language, but only next year. So now we still have this limitation where even if we change everything, we can't get it in China and European Union, but next year, we will be able to use it not only in English, but in your local language as well in the European Union and in China. So this is very, very good for other languages in other countries. We just don't have information just yet, but that's everything you need to know about how to enable and when you will be able to fully use Apple intelligence in your country. All right. So hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one as usual, guys. Bye bye.